Great. Uh, first, we'll start with public comment. And then we'll Marsha Gershenson, one of the county commissioners. So as you may or may not have heard, the Board of Commissioners voted to put uh, a new millage on the uh, ballot in November. And this is, this millage will replace the smart village, the smart millage which Bloomfield Township residents are paying at 97%. The, the new millage will be 95%. So it, the, our residents will have a slight decrease in the tax that they're paying for increased services. So paratransit, microtransit, um, new routes will be developed and the, this will all be beneficial to the entire county. One thing that, um, Many years ago, um, it was not looked upon favorably that people from the south end could go to the north end. There was actually many, many people that were against cross-county transportation. So now the entire county will have transit with um, an emphasis on getting people to their jobs where people, big um, manufacturing areas, hospitals, um, educational facilities, and there will be uh, a look at what routes, what the communities want, and I'm really your liaison. So I would like to invite the public that has questions about this millage to contact me and my information's readily available. The board I know has questions related to SMART, and I can tell you that the four existing um, taxes right now, which are SMART, WODA, which is Western Oakland County, NOTA, which is Northern Oakland County, and OPC, which is the Older Persons Commission, but actually they provide transit to the Rochester area. Their millages will all be replaced, so nobody will be double dipped. And the, the services that you're receiving and all the residents are receiving from those four entities will be continued. But I don't want you to take my word for it. Um, I am going to set up a meeting for the board or for anybody that has questions uh, with SMART directly because I, from what I'm hearing, those are the issues that some of the board has issues with. My goal is to explain what's going to be on the ballot. And for me, I do believe that transportation has been a big issue in keeping young people in our area and there shouldn't be an opt-in opt-out um, choice for people that, that's just my opinion I'd like to see everybody um, go wherever they want to go this this is uh, uh, an effort to give seniors more mobility we're going to be focused on uh, people with disabilities Sorry, and yes. there'll be a, uh, and also a focus on veterans so please reach out to me I am very excited and supportive of this millage and um, I look forward to answering any questions you might have thank you I know I have some questions does anybody else want to ask um, some questions that would really help um, because there is a risk of decreased services as a donor community some of us do get more than you're talking about the millage but the issue is the only reason we even got smart to the table to talk about what we needed was the risk of the opt-out so you've taken away <coughs> the chance of getting them to the table um, for example we've been wanting bus shelters people standing in the snow standing in the rain for years they wouldn't talk to us we threatened to opt out all of a sudden we had meetings um, they have only been paying twenty five thousand dollars for our transportation person here from 25 years ago um, no no increases the only reason they started talking to us about an increase because we pay for that subsidy now mm -hmm. is the opt-out so the issue is we do have risk of reduced services and we also have the risk of no longer having them come to the table so how do we handle that for those of us that are 
are unsure about this millage. Sure, I totally understand that, and I have sent your questions to SMART, so I haven't I'm, replied. Oh, they reply to me all the time, Danny. I don't have. Oh, they, they don't reply to me because I'm the liaison, and um, I'll get you the answers. I'm going to set up a meeting, but from the best of my knowledge, no services that you have now will be interrupted, including any earmarks or um, special assessments that you have. But I, I want you to hear that directly from them. And certainly this issue about having shelters is a powerful one. And that is one that if, if, that, if you've had a problem with that, I, I would hope I could help remedy that situation. So, so the issue again, although for years they were ignoring us and the opt out being the only reason that they talked to us um, well, there's a new that. reason, and that is me. I was never involved in any of those conversations. and well, I, We didn't know you guys were doing this, to be honest. We were never involved. Well, the smart millage <laughs> has, has been up for, it's been, a, uh, everyone knew the smart millage was expiring. Right, that's why we and were talking so, to them about the smart millage. We didn't know about the Oakland County oh. millage. Yeah. Dave Coulter ran on a platform of bringing transit to Oakland County. This is not a new concept. We have been talking about it for years. We tried a few years ago to get it on the ballot. And one of the big issues, one of the big reasons why it was defeated is because certain communities were being double dipped. So it was important to the commissioners to be sure that every community that had any service will not, will not be taxed twice. So in answer to any specific smart questions, I will refer to them, but I'm watching that, and you know your questions will be answered for sure. I, hope so. yeah. I guess I would just add, Marsha, we, we appreciate your involvement, yeah. and we, we have had, I guess, um, issues having, um, pardon the pun, but traction with the bus service. Um, so at this point, I really do look forward to your involvement because, quite frankly, we have been paying a lot in terms of our millage, and what we're looking for is really to keep um, even with inflation, but more so they have um, provided, uh, they being smart, have shared with us some of their plans that they're doing with, with um, pilot programs in our contiguous communities, and we're hopeful that not only will we remain the same, but really improve and work and be the next community um, that, that is serviced by the FLEX uh, plan. So hopefully well, we'll spend time with you and SMART well, and work together to make sure that we're getting... Absolutely, because there, there is now going to be an oversight body, which there never was before. So all the commissioners that represent the entire county will be going to their communities asking for their feedback what is it that you want and will be representing your interests at the table so you're not going to be directly talking to smart anymore and i have to say i don't deal with smart very much so i'm sorry to hear I, and I'm surprised no, I, I, to hear that the relationship wasn't as good as it should have been and had I known I definitely would have intervened sooner but um, it's not only smart you'll be dealing with you'll be dealing with a larger authority and they're just a component of it so they'll be doing what we direct them to do well, we look we look forward to your involvement Active me involvement. too and we actually have one of the stronger relationships with them just to give you a heads up of what you're walking into. Well, and I'm shocked, but I have heard it, and I have repeated that because, you know, we're involved in appointing the board yeah. of SMART, so. Yeah. I hear ya. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, did you want to make a motion? For no moving? other comment? Yes. No. Nope. Okay.